The chaos and violence on the streets of Hong Kong shows no sign of stopping. The protests are now in their 14th straight week and have continued despite Hong Kong's leadership finally meeting one of the protesters' key demands. On Sunday, thousands marched peacefully on the U.S. consulate in an attempt to drum up support from Washington. But there was violence within hours with activists throwing rocks, smashing windows, starting street fires and vandalizing a metro station. Joining me now from Hong Kong is a journalist, uh, Michael Borsicu, a global affairs analyst. Thank you so much for joining us, Michael. You are staying in Causeway Bay and just right outside your hotel, there was a protest yesterday. It seems like the protesters are not backing down. In your view, is this an indication how badly Beijing bungled the situation? Yes, Rico, good to be with you. I think they bungled it very badly, um, delaying the, you know, removal of that uh, extradition bill after so many weeks of protest. I think what it did, it just emboldened the protesters um, even further. And then also they widened their demands where I'm afraid to the point where no government of Beijing or no Beijing puppet here in Hong Kong could possibly do things like, um, you know, the universal suffrage and removing the riot designation from those already arrested. So it's getting very, very bad. But of course, you have Carrie Lam in Beijing already giving in to that leading demand of uh, withdrawing the extradition bill. Is there a possibility that uh, some groups within the protest movement will give in and and compromise with Lam in Beijing. Yeah, well, I, I spoke to many of them yesterday outside the U.S. consulate, Rico, and many said, no, we're here for as long as it takes. We want all five demands. But I think what you probably see even this week, Rico, is a bit of softening because they now know, the government now knows they have to offer more. So my guess would be is that it's possibly a more robust inquiry into police behavior here because, believe me, every protester I spoke to yesterday complained about the police brutality um, and they're very, very angry at But I was reading uh, your article and you said that there's a possibility that the moderates could break away from this protest movement and sit down with Carrie Lam and Beijing. Yeah, well, there are two, two things here. One is um, moderates may see, oh, they give us a concession, so it's time to calm down, go to work, go back to school. But uh, the, other, the other one, uh, too, there is that as um, events like last night happened from arguably a radical fringe, the moderates in this movement may actually get quite afraid because, you know, it's now having that knock-on effect of uh, job losses, mm -hmm. store closures, tourism is down. So um, they could say, you know, enough is enough. Thank you so much for your insights and joining us from Hong Kong. Michael Borsicu, a global affairs analyst.